Welcome to my routing and switching essentials course. This is going to be for lab 5.1.3.6. We're doing configuring router on a stick. So let's go ahead and try to ping between PC1 and PC3. It should fell because they should be on separate VLANs. 17.30.1. And that was dot ten, not dot one. And you should see that it does fail. And that's appropriate because again, different networks, different layer three networks mean we have got to go to a layer three device. So switch to a simulation mode. Alright, so I'm gonna be skipping that step. I don't really care to be capturing the packets between the two so that we can actually see that the pings aren't really going anywhere. That's not what I'm here for, so. So let's go ahead and create VLANs 10 and 30 on switch 1. So enable config T. First thing I want to do is create VLAN 10. I want to back out VLAN 30. And we've created both those VLANs. We want to assign the appropriate interfaces to those VLANs. So I'm going to go back to my configuration mode. I'm going to go to interface F0 slash 11. Switch port mode. Access. Switch port access VLAN 10. That's it. That's all you had to do. You had to navigate to the appropriate interface, switch port mode, put it in access mode. Then you do switch port access and what VLAN you want to access. I will go back and I will do the interface for the other VLAN, which will be interface F0 slash 6. Switch port mode access. Switch port access VLAN 30. So we've gone ahead and did that. Let's do a a show VLAN brief. Show VLAN brief. Help if I spell show command, VLAN brief. And that should show you the appropriate VLANs and what ports are attached to them. So let's try ping in between the PCs again. And it should still fail because again, different networks. And it failed. Which that's what we were expecting. So we need to go ahead, move on to part three. We need to create sub interfaces so that we can create the connection between both of those. So going back up here, you're going to notice we have two sub interfaces. Let's hop over to the router, go to our CLI, enable, get into our configuration mode. So we are configuring gigabit 0 slash 0 dot 10. So we're going to do an encapsulation dot 1 Q space what VLAN is it? 10. Next IP address 172.10.1 with the appropriate subnet. Oh, helps if I uh, make sure that I'm doing the appropriate format for the IP address. And we will do a no shut to turn it on. All right, so interface, we did the appropriate sub interface. We did encapsulation.1q space 10. That is going to be encapsulating 
using the dot one q standard space the VLAN number. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to do interface g0 slash 0 dot 30 in cap dot 1q 30 because we're doing VLAN 30 IP address 172.17.30.1 and the appropriate subnet and again no shutdown well why is the link not on well we turned on the sub interfaces but we never turned on the actual link interface gigabit zero zero slash zero no shut so basically we have to make sure we turn on the parent interface and we've completed those steps so let's go ahead and let's go back to our PC let's try pinging again this time it should time out the first packet but why is it still filling? well let's talk about the link between switch and router well did we ever do anything with that? let's hop over to our switch let's do a show I believe the command is interface trunk we don't have any trunks in order for this connection to handle both VLANs it needs to be a trunk so let's go ahead and Let's fix that. Show IP and brief. This is the interface that we're going to be configuring as our trunk. It's up already. That should be that connection there. So config T. We're going to navigate to that interface. So gigabit 0 slash 1. Switch port mode trunk so it was an access before but we needed it to act as a trunk so we changed the mode to trunk now if we go back to our com uh, command terminal our ping should drop the first packet and then should start responding okay it just took a little bit but yeah there it is it's finally responding all right that's actually the end of this lab I'm gonna go ahead and check results just to verify got green check marks all the way down that's the end of this lab thank you